We all know VPNs protect our networks and data from external threats by enabling secure communication tunnels, and that's great. However, setting up a VPN can be a complex and time-consuming task. Today, let us walk you through a simpler method to establish secure communication between remote endpoints or networks using Zero Tier. In short, Zero Tier is an alternative to VPNs that gives you easy remote communication control capabilities without requiring you to scratch your head over servers and IP addresses. How so? Zero Tier can be used to emulate Layer 2 communication, which focuses on delivering data between network nodes belonging to the same network. But what's even better is that Zero Tier enables you to achieve it without needing public IP addresses, nor any particular setups. You only need to install its software on all devices involved. Indeed, Zero Tier's Layer 2 bridge configuration is very simple and requires close to zero effort. Here's how you can do it. We will configure it on our RUTX50 and RUTX11 routers, which run on our own operating system, RUTOS. To begin the configuration, first create your Zero Tier account. If you already have one, simply log in. After entering your account, create a new network by pressing the Create a Network button. You'll see a new network appearing. Press it to enter the edit mode. Here you're greeted with Zero Tier's central page, full of settings that are segmented into two sections, Basics and Advanced. Let's go to the Advanced section first. In the Managed Routes window, you'll find an automatically generated IP address. Delete it and type in your own IP address with which you want to create a network or from which network you want to distribute IP addresses to other connected devices. Scroll down until you reach the IPv4 Auto Assign window. There, unselect the Auto Assign from Range option, as it's not relevant to this bridge configuration. Now, log into the router and select the Advanced mode. To make the configuration successful, you need to have the Zero Tier package installed. So if you haven't done that yet, go to the System section, select Package Manager, Choose Zero Tier from the Package Manager's list, click the plus icon in the Actions tab, and click Continue. Once you have the Zero Tier's package installed in the device's operating system, go to the Services section, click on VPN, and choose Zero Tier. Here we will be creating a new configuration, so name it the way you'd like for easy management purposes, and click Add. A new window will pop up where you need to enable the instance. Then in the Add New Instance section, add a new network by naming it the way you want and press Add. Here enable the Zero Tier network by turning on the interface, and for the network ID, go to your Zero Tier account and copy the network ID from the Basics section. Come back to the device's web UI and paste it. Make sure that in the Bridge 2 window, the LAN interface is selected, and the Allow Managed IP option is disabled. Press Save and Apply in both windows. With these steps, you've just created a Zero Tiers instance within the router. Now let's go back to Zero Tiers central page. In the Members tab, you'll see that the router has appeared and it's trying to authenticate itself. Approve the authentication by checking the box next to it. After that, press the Edit icon and you'll see additional options appearing. Check the box next to Allow Ethernet Bridging. You've just added one device to the network. Since we want to show you how to establish a bridge, let's connect one more device to this network. Log into your second router, and for that we'll be using the RUTX11. The same steps we used for RUTX50 will be used for RUTX11, or any other Teltonica networks or otherwise OpenWRT-based device. After applying the same configuration to this router, we need to adjust one more thing in the LAN settings. Click on the Network section and select LAN. Now click on the pencil icon to edit the LAN interface. In the Interfaces window next to the IPv4 address section, type in the IP address that would belong to the same network as the first router. After that, go to the DHCP server window and make sure the DHCP is disabled. Press Save and Apply. Go back to Zero Tier's central page, 
and in the Members tab, you'll see that one more device is attempting to authenticate itself. Approve it by checking the box next to it. Don't forget to also click on the Edit icon and check the Allow Ethernet Bridging to add the router to the network. Now the Zero Tier Bridge is configured with two routers belonging to the Zero Tier Network. To check if one of the routers can communicate with the other, use the ping function. For that, go to the System section and within the Maintenance settings, select Troubleshoot. Now scroll down until you reach the Diagnostics window. If you want to test the connection from the second router's perspective, enter the IP address of the first router in the Address section and click Perform. The ping action will then be executed. To perform the same test from the first router's perspective, simply log into the first router's operating system and enter the IP address of the second router. This will give the same result. If the pings are successful from both sides, it will show that both routers can communicate with each other using a zero-tier bridge. And that's it. You've just created a bridge between your device and zero-tiers networks. Now, go and have some fun with your newly established communication bridge and leave your network security concerns aside. If you're looking for more configuration tutorials, then you're in luck. We have plenty of them on our channel, so be sure to subscribe and leave a comment with your suggestions for what kind of content you'd like to see next. See you next time.